Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another supersonic meal. Today, I'll be working with some medium sized black mussels. So, I have about 20 right here already washed and cleaned. So, today, I'm gonna add some Mike's Heart Limeade. I have some crushed garlic and ginger, about two slices of gar uh, two slices of ginger and two cloves of garlic. And I'll be using a little bit of salt, crushed red pepper, and oil. All right, so this stuff is optional, but I'll be boiling it in the hot water for about oh 10 seconds just to remove any any type of germs or stuff from the ocean. So you don't want to overcook this part because actually the pan frying part would do the real cooking. So I just want to remove any you know nasty stuff from the ocean. Alright, so as you can see, it has been boiling for about almost a minute. See how the shells are opening up a little bit? That's gonna tell you that it's starting to cook. So we don't want to overly cook this, so let's stop this. And then I'll turn on the pan. While I have the pan going, you're gonna drain this. Put some cold water over it so it doesn't cook while it's actually waiting. See how that one's opened up? That one's almost done. So we'll wait on the pan. Alright, the pan is getting hot. Add some oil, your garlic ginger mix. Whoa! Now that step is optional, but of course be careful. Alright, so let it simmer for about 8 seconds so it can bring out that aroma. Now throw in your mussels. I got a feeling that it's going to fire up again. Maybe not. Now add your salt. Sprinkle salt. A little bit of crushed red pepper. Now Throw in my Mike's Heart Lemonade, but not until I get a sip of it. I'm sorry, Limeade. There we go. So you're going to make sure you pay attention to this and not overcook it. So as with most seafood, you don't want to overcook them because then it will shrink and just taste rubbery. Kind of like lobster or shrimp, or scallops. Mix that in real good in under a minute, and that should be ready. And you can tell by that. See, that's like 85% done. All right, it's been cooking for about 30, 35 seconds. And it's pretty much done. I don't want to overcook it. Turn this off. As you can see, that's done and that's done. So I'm going to throw this in a bowl. And we'll see what it tastes like. Look at that. It smells so delicious. Let me try one of these. So here I have a little bit of dipping sauce, which I just made it out of easy combination of red vinegar, sriracha, and soy sauce. So typically I like to eat my seafood, such as shrimp and lobster with this blend. So I just dip a little bit in this. See how that's perfectly done? It 
Hmm. Now let me try one without it. Wow, that tastes exceptionally good. Cooked with Mike's hard lime aid. So the juice, it has a slight sweetness to it, and just a slight hint of alcohol. To make it better, I will add a little bit more spice, make it spicier. Wow, this is really good snack. So I would rate this dish. Uh, 88% so until next time